name is Joshua Mays. I am 38 years old. I am based in Oakland from Denver. I'm an artist, illustrator, muralist. The unfortunate thing is a significant stigma being spread amongst artists um, against business and money and, and talking about having a healthy relationship with the entrepreneurial side of being an artist and being a creative person. People are easy to, you know, if you bring up money, they're easy to, you know, either throw you on the side of, 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 of you're whoring yourself or throw you on the side of you're just, you know, you're just as corrupt as the bankers and the politicians who just want to, you know, extract whatever from um, their own greed. I feel like it's better for everybody if there is a, a set medium, you know, a set average point of view that allows us all to get paid fairly, you know, to, to, to sustain ourselves. Money came into the city, the demand for art never went down. But the artist's point of view never decided to, to raise their rates, you know, based upon the cost of living. Um, and therefore got swept up in the tide of, of, of that change. And when people talk about um, the public perception of the, the starving artist and how people are sort of comfortable with that idea and think that that's the professional artist is, that's a challenge. You know, that's a challenge at hand, but it is up to us to, to change that perception and to say no, you know, like consider the working artist in the same way that you would consider the working auto mechanic and consider the, the working plumber. If we put it out there and maintain, again, the standard then it, it, it makes it easier for all of us, you know, and, and the people that approach us will, will approach us with budget. And receiving compliments back, you know, is awesome, but when, when somebody actually um, buys a piece of my time, you know, and exchanges a piece of their hard-earned money, it's, it's, it's magical for me. Uh, I want to put out a little more self-esteem and a little more um, courage and backbone. Too many really, really talented people who are really struggling to get by and they're getting so many hours and it's just ridiculous that they're not able to um, support themselves and they have to do other things and ultimately not reach the level of mastery that I can see within their work they're striving for. The internet and social networking has become for artists nowadays. It is the new record labels and art galleries of the past. You know, I, I get most of my interaction, my, most of my business interaction happens on Facebook. Having you know, my daily drawing posts that I regularly put out there, it just creates a story that people can attach to. So that real-time aspect is important to take advantage of when it comes to um, promoting a career as an artist. Yes, things are changing. That's one reason why I'm here. I think when it comes to the Bay Area, there's definitely got to be more money happening here. It's, it's up to us to, to realize, okay, cost of living means people can, you know, afford luxury items and buying original art is a luxury purchase. It is up to us to approach them with possibilities of being art collectors and being um, art philanthropists and at a piece. I think it, it, it boils down to breaking down what you're doing um, in the same way that any, any industry boils what they're doing down into the goods and services that they're providing the people who give them money, you know? And most artists are really afraid of assessing the value of their work in that same way. It's this virtuous um, model of the starving artist who is giving away his work for free, you know, and ultimately fucking up the market for all the rest of us who are trying to pay our bills. There, there are costs to everything. You gotta go and buy, you know, 
cans of paint and tubes of paint that are that isn't cheap. You know, you gotta buy new brushes, so go on ahead, buy that, feed yourself. I think persistence is key. We have to have the serious conversation. But one, as artists accept payment, and two, as anybody who would ask an artist to work for them to accept the fact that you have to pay the artist. And then we can really have serious movement and sustainable careers happen to, to more of us, you know, and to most of us. Hey.